Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is everybody happy today? Yes. Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is everybody feeling good today? Yes. All right. God is good, isn't he? Awesome. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. Outstanding. Outstanding. And he's your God. <laughs> yes. How I many know that he's your God? Yes. And his deliverance is here today. Yes. How many have been drinking today? Yes. Have you been drinking at this convention? Yes. Did you feel the power of God in this convention? Yes. yes. Did you feel the Holy Ghost in this convention? How many have been blessed in this convention? How many know that there's a lot more in God? How many want more from God? How many are believing today that there is more in God? How many want that deliverance? It's one thing to sing about it, but it's another thing to really believe it. You can sing it, but do you believe it? Do you want it? But how much do you want of God today? I mean, all, as in all, that means you want it all? But you've got to do something for that. Yes. You've got to clap for it. You've got to shout for it. And you've got to praise it. That's all you have to do is to shout and praise it. And the Bible said, all oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness. But how good is God to you today? How good is God to you today? Has he ever healed you? Has God ever blessed you? Has God ever delivered you? Has God ever break the bondage of the devil out of your life? How many know that God's alive today? How many know that God's real today? There's deliverance in the camp. How many can shout the victory? And day in the day. It doesn't matter what the devil trying to do. Jesus is on our side. And we are more than conquerors. Through Christ. I couldn't do it by myself. And you couldn't do it by yourself. But through the name of Jesus Christ. Through the name of the Son of God. We have power in that name. The Bible said, I have given you power. How many know that? There is power. I'm talking about real power. I'm talking about the power of the Holy Ghost. I've given you power over all. All. Let's say all. Of the powers of the enemy. Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. He gave us power over sickness, over disease, over all of the works of the devil. We have that authority today. We are men of God. We are children of God. And we have a right to shout because we've been redeemed. Amen. We've been set free yes. by the power of Almighty God. Amen. This convention has been outstanding. Yes. We heard last night that we should not be afraid. Yes. We've got power. Yes. We've got the weapons. Yes. And the Bible said the weapons are for warfare. They're not corner. They're not corner. Come on, they're not corner. But they're mighty. Somebody say mighty. They're mighty. Do you have a mighty weapon? Do you have a mighty weapon? They are mighty true God. To the pulling down. To the pulling down. We're here to destroy the works of the devil. We're here to pull down the works of the devil. We're here to set the captives free. We're here to shout. We're here to let the devil know. We are sons of God. Amen. We are sons of God. Amen. And the weapons we have. Is not corner, but they're mighty, mighty. true God to the pulling down of stronghold. I don't care what the devil build, we can pull it down in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the devil say, we have a greater power. Come on, the power of the enemy. I don't care what the devil say, we can shout to 
today. Yes. We can lift our hands up and praise the Lord. Yes. And we can trace the devil. And he has to flee from us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not in your name. And not in your power. But in the power of the Holy Ghost. In the power of that mighty name of Jesus. In John 7, 37. The last day of the feast. <laughs> and the last day of the feast. Yes. When men drunk and fed and we've been feeding. Oh, yes. But there is still something more right. yes. for them to receive. Hallelujah. And guess who showed up on the scene? On. A man called Jesus. Yes. And he said, if any man thirst, All right. let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, uh -huh. as the scripture had said, uh -huh. yes. out of his innermost being yes, shall flow river. rivers river. of living water. Right, have you been feeling the water? Yes. I said, have you been feeling the water? Yes, sir. Have you been drinking of the water? Yes. Have you been swimming in the river? Yes. Have you been moving in the river? Yes. Out of his innermost being yes. will flow rivers of living water. And the Bible said, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living waters. This spake he of the Holy Ghost, which was to be given. And John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me uh -huh. is mightier than I am. Yes. He will baptize you uh -huh. with the Holy Ghost yeah. and with fire. Yeah. I tell you, we've been feeling the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. We've been feeling the fire. Yeah. Have you been feeling the fire? Yeah. Have you been feeling the fire of the Holy Ghost? Come on. We've been feeling the fire.
24 7. You remember there was a virgin that conceived and brought for the son. The Bible said, For unto us a child is born, and a son is given. That's a miracle. Two being in one without violating the other one. The word became flesh. And tabernacle dwell. Never leaving us. It doesn't matter whether you feel good or bad, up or down or low. The word of God says, I will never leave it. The word became flesh and tabernacle dwell. Is he here today? Did he just visit us? Yeah. What is 
Psalms 37, I'm weak. Don't say it. I'm strong in the Lord. I have power of his might. Because even when I'm down, I'm out. I'm not falling down, but I'm getting up. I'm not falling down, I'm just getting up. Come on, I'm just getting up. Hey, we're not just closing a convention. We're just going on in a new direction, a new dimension. But we're coming back again. Brother Marlon, you've been years, how long time? 50 something years? 53 years, my goodness. And still going. Still going. <laughs> Your last day ever read the Bible. I got that bunny beat. Now you know what it can keep you down, brother. Amen. Oh, yeah. 
They all started looking at me. They're waiting for me to tell them what to do. All right. <laughs> what do you want them to do? Back easy, but I'm listening. 
I'll let stand. I don't have to run. Worry. My turn will come. I don't have to sweat. My turn will come. I don't care where God put me. As long as he gives me a place. Do you understand what I, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, brother. What we have? We have the word in our midst this Sunday morning. Yeah. That same word that became flesh. And there's another in St. John chapter 1. When Philip found Natalia. Uh -huh. Remember that? Yes. Look at it. Going to the words ahead. And he said, Come. We found him. Yes. Have you found him? Yes. We found him. Yes. Now, when you find him, you find the way, the truth, the life. You find the Alpha, the Omega. You find a good shepherd. You find your salvation, your deliverance. You find he who came to destroy the works of the devil. You find the reconciler, the redeemer, the sanctifier. You find the good shepherd, the Lord of glory. You find the baptizer. Philip was it. Natalia said, can there be any good thing come out of reading? I mean, <laughs> what was it? Well, a man that was, you defy the sheriff. You defy the law. And they said, don't come back, but he came back. <laughs> now, if you didn't listen to the sheriff, are you going to listen to a old devil that's already lost his job? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. The devil is an unemployed term. Yeah. He's sentenced. He's already defeated. Yeah. All he's got to do is trail. All you have to do You sit there worried about the devil. Yeah. He's on a job. Yeah. He's on a business. Yeah. You're free. He doesn't have you. Yeah. Don't you understand? Yeah. You can shout. Yeah. He lost his job. Come back to town, <laughs> but you came back. I'm like, guess who's following you? Look around, who's following you? <laughs> there, there are more people here, probably, and, and the whole department of the police department. department. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. You should have seen last night who was here. Hey. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Hey. <clears throat> the stones that are the stone that the builders rejected. This one. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Because it should have been over, over a long time <coughs> for you. But when men said, we excommunicate you, yes. that's good. That's good. Yes. Go to another cup of coffee. Because oh, that means you're free. Hey. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. We excommunicate you. Yes. We kick you out, cast you out. Ain't nobody can kick you out of the kingdom. No. Nobody no. can cast you out. No. They can say it. But brother, only God. And if God be for us, who can be against us? And God has planted you here, and Sister Barbara came right in town. Come on. Yeah. And don't worry about your age. You just have a lot to talk to Caleb about. He was eight years old, and he said, I'm still ready. I don't want no valley. I want a mountain. <laughs> Give me this mountain. Mm. And don't be talking about that. <coughs> An old soldier don't die. No, he don't. Just hang up. Yes, right. Finish your hands up. <coughs> no. I really hang this. I know what you're thinking. Who oh, is dead? God's not a God of the dead. Okay. Abraham is not dead. But you've got to contradict the scripture because that's what the Bible said. And I don't care if you believe the soul move out alive or move or, or stay dead. I don't care what you believe. It doesn't matter. You know, I don't care what you believe. The flesh is the devil. The devil is the flesh. Christ destroyed them both. Amen. The flesh of the devil, he killed them both. Right. He crucified them. Amen. They got the spirit might be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't 
if you stay in the graveyard, I'm out of the graveyard. I know where I'm going. Come on, preacher. I'm sent for what? From the body. <coughs> Present with the Lord. Yeah. And we shall not all sleep, yeah. but we shall all be changed. Yeah. I don't care if you believe in an incorruptible body or immortal soul. That's your problem. I know it's in the body, and I'm going to have it. Yeah. You can keep what you have, but I don't want nobody pushing me around for all the rest of my life in eternity. No. No. I don't want to come out with this whole week, but brother, I got to take a pill to go to bed, and I got to take a pill to wake it up, and I got to, hey, I got to put in parts of my body and take parts out. And, uh, my God, no. don't you want a new body? Yes. So don't you want an incorruptible body? Yes. We are going to receive it because of the cross of Jesus Christ. Yes. So don't be afraid of death. Yes, and I know Brother David. Brother David is a great man. He's a great man. And his wife, sister, I was here and she was real sick. They've been faithful. Labor in this church. And I want to say, I want to say my, I don't know if I should just sit my feet, because I really think she's in a better place. I don't care what you think. <laughs> you can write the Bible. I don't care what Bible you read. I don't care what you put you reading in. Sometimes, you know, we read the Bible, and some of us read it like this, and some of us read it like that, and some read it all the way. Well, I don't even know how I read it. But one thing I know, whether you sleep or awake. Come on, brothers. Whether you sleep in death or awake, like I am right now, makes no difference to God. Hmm? Somebody said, the dead are cold, stone, dead. And I'm not, you know, preaching no doctrine, but we use David. He's not ascended into the heaven. That was powerful, man, because we had a revelation. Not what we ought to read the other scripture, and all my knowledge those scriptures. You know, a guitar, everybody knows that got more than one string. Yeah. Come on, brother. <laughs> now, we've been arguing on a circle, but the Bible says, this corruptible, that's what you got from Adam. That's right. That's right. But the second Adam, the last one, has another body, yeah. a glorious body, yeah. and we're going to get a glorious body, yeah. like how true his whole glorious body. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. So, if you only believe that day, will you out there? You stay out there until the last couple. That's what I mean. But I'm not going to join you. Amen, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to join you. You can go where you want to be. <laughs> this corruptible must put on incorruptible. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's two things. Read it. First Corinthians. Yeah. 15, you know, there's a corruptible that's begotten from the first Adam. Right. And that was put on incorruptible. incorruptible. Well, don't stop there. And this mortal, same thing, must put on immortality. immortality. Yeah. That's the quality of God. Immortality. Immortality means liable to die. Immortality means not liable to die. Once you get that quality, you're no more. And what are we doing here? To them who by patient. Continuance. Ah, continuance. Well, do it. Mm. I, I'm too good. I, I catch a plane, brother. I was sick on the flight, but I landed here. Yeah. Well, do it. Hey, hey. You know what the devil said? You can't go. I got some people in my church. You talk about Bible people. You know what they did? Yeah. They went and sell egg rolls and car wash. My God. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me now. Yeah. They said, Pastor, you're going. Yeah, and they went into to watch me and the, the machine over there. <laughs> the car. And they saw you. They saw you. They saw you. They said, well, Pastor. So I had to get up. <laughs> 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 but let me see. Corruptible. That's what we are now. Yeah. Every day you die. Dying daily. Yeah. But don't be outward, man. Perish. Yes. Your brother's trying to go, you know, get out of here. And you, and you have to, before you come down, because if you come down, we both are too fast. Guess what? The dust want to go back. This corruptible must put on first 
in quarter, and then this mortal shall put on immortality. Hallelujah. But the devil, my patient, continue in well doing, seek for glory, honor, immortality, eternal life. But to those that are contentious, go on, be courageous. <laughs> we have no such custom. I'm working on to be my target. I'm too busy to worry. Come on. Because the same Bible said, absent. When are you absent? From the body. What does it mean? If you didn't go to school anymore, you absent. You weren't there. You're in the military. If you didn't show up, you absent. <laughs> of course. But absent from the body, present. Yes, sir. But you're present in immortality. Because flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of God, neither do it corruption. Amen. And that's why we're working now to put on, though the outward man perish, the inward man. Yes. Yes. I don't think you say you don't have an inward man or not. Uh -huh. Fine with me. <laughs> you must be one big lump of cake. <laughs> but the inward man yeah. is being renewed. Yeah. And sister, I saw that renewal when you praise it. I saw it in some of you. Yeah. Renew how often? Day by day. Yeah, yes, sir. So let's be careful with those scriptures oh. and give people hope. Yes. There's a change. Our eyes are getting open, brighter. We don't see like we used to see. And it's good to have the past, but you better get off those glasses of the past. Yes. And put them aside. <laughs> Joshua, that was awesome. Joshua leaned on Moses. But there came a time when he had to stand and depend only on God. Because Moses, my servant, is dead. I don't care when, when a man is dead, he's dead. God bless his word, but he's dead. D E A D E A. Uh huh. Yeah. Cold, strong, dead. But it's the living. A living dog. Yes. It's better. Than a living lion. I might not be alive, and you might not be alive. But I got up this morning and I had a cup of coffee. The lion that's dead didn't have it. <laughs> are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. The living dog can stand there and tell you of the hope of the resurrection of the dead. Yes. And we have a hope. Yes. We have a hope. Yes. The living dog that was barking and see some of you got up and big in the shop. Come on. Yes. Oh. In closing, we have the most glorious message. Glory. And all the doors of the past have not been closed. Seventy-two years. When Brother Roberts meet you, he's going to say, well done, son. Well done, son. Well done, son. Because you're a fighter. You're a fighter. You're still a fighter. I said, you've got more fire and spark in you than anybody that's 50 years old. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Huh? This man cannot run and out shout. I think almost everybody in this church. Yes, Have you ever seen him sit still? No. When all the ministers sometimes we sit there cold and dead and we don't even call to remember a name, he's up here trying to walk on his head. Hallelujah. Yes. He's a perfect example of 